appreciate you looking into the channel. Today we're going to be putting the worst mic technique to the test. Let's find out together on three different drum kits which mic works best using the worst technique with the second year drummer. Later in the video, we will compare conventional overhead and close mic mixes to our result. But to get started, let's grab a 57 to light up a sweet little Pearl Vision kit with birch shells and a low seat. The SM57 is a go-to mic for snare drum, so it should fare well if we get close enough to the kick for proximity effect. Next, we'll try our luck with the classic NT2 in an open room environment centered around an original stage custom kick drum from back when they were still making them out of mahogany. Saving the best for last, or should I say the worst? Either way, it's our wild card. A rare find these days and notably good for recording congas is the Grundig GDSM202 stereo dynamic microphone pair. They sport identical capsules used in the Sennheiser MD405s and should fare well as a knee mic, especially since one mic can easily be skewed downward to gain presence on the kick drum. The worst drum recording technique, affectionately known as the knee mic, or more affectionately known, or dare I say, intimately known, the crotch mic position. We are ready. Give us your worst. I will admit that sounded better than I thought it would for a noob that doesn't take lessons. But all kidding aside, the SM57 clearly outperformed many of the budget bike kits available that would require several channels in a mix just to get started. So if you are just getting started, you might want to consider an SM57 as your crotch companion as an alternative to a mic kit while you elevate your uh, status. Let's move on. It's time to see and hear how it feels when we tape our crotch companion on the road. That was a nice little road test, proving the NT2 to be a worthy standalone companion in the crotch position. I dare say, perhaps even outperforming the 57 with better overall clarity and even more detail in the highs. Seemed to have a flatter, truer response across the spectrum, pulling out more of the sound felt in the room while playing, particularly the natural sound of the hats. So far, the NT2 seems to be leading in the battle for the best mic in the worst position.
but let's give the Grundig stereo pair a listen on this fiberglass kit from the same groovy era. That sent me back in my chair a few years. Reminded me of an early rendition of that old song by Camel Toe Gypsy and her tie-dye friends. Thank you, Sid. Thanks for keeping it groovy. Thank you, Grundig, for that sweet and boxy tone from days gone by. Speaking of tone, one note to mention, using the GDSM 202 in this application is the high sensitivity at or around 2.5 kilohertz. Nothing a good EQ won't fix, we did a deep dive at 2.5K and made a plus 3 dB shelf from 63 hertz to 400 hertz, along with some general EQ shaping in preparation for this video. Before we wrap up with some comparisons using overheads and close-up mics, let's just summarize by saying, oh, I, I'm sorry, like, it had to be sick. Just, don't worry about it, I got, I got this, I got this. I, can, I know the camera fell down. All right, just finish up. Where's that paper? Thank you. Where was I? All right. Now. Oh, okay, then. So I'll just read this. Um, okay. Um, where do I start? Uh, where's the position? Hmm. All of these microphones, when positioned using the worst technique, served well to provide a clear rhythm track, recording with a low noise floor that will easily sit well in a mix. How was that? Now let's consider what we could add to our crotch companion when we multi-track our drums.
Sid, we need to talk. Come on now, don't look at me like that. Come on, man. I'm just gonna tell you. Mom just called. Seems you're gonna have to save that triple thing for the end credits. And uh, by the way, uh, you gotta do that over again. Tribal thing? Yeah, I told him. Oh, and how did he react? Come on, you know this. Same way he reacts to everything else. Uh, can I ask why is he still drumming? Because I told him. And he'd have to play it over again. He thought I meant right now. Sid, your brother meant tomorrow. Come have some ice cream. Yeah, I'm a... The subject microphone fell on the floor during the session. That was specifically focused on... Come on, Mom, settle down. You know I don't understand a word you say when you ramp up and start talking so fast. Yeah, I'm still here. Try to speak nicer. All right, Ma, well, my laundry's done and... I gotta pee. Can I call you back? You know I don't understand you when you talk so fast. Now just slow down a little bit. All right, all right. I'm going to put you on speaker, okay? It's too late to go All back. right, now where did I put my pickle juice? On. Get moving on the next video, and don't forget to let Sid go out in the backyard today. I haven't had a chance to pick up his vitamin D.